Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Chandler with Tent Pegs and Milk. Today I'm going to talk about honoring parents. As a Christian woman, I'm under my father's roof and under his authority, but also I'm an adult and I'm needing to stretch my wings and learn things for myself and develop the ability to be independent, but not in a feminist way. There's, there's a lot of really fine lines and I've had lots of questions about like, am I stepping out from under my father's authority if I'm doing this on my own or is it disrespectful for me to ask my father to explain his reasoning for rules that he's set, etc. And this video is for Christian girls who want to honor your parents, but also want to grow up. Honoring our father and mother is the first commandment with a promise. We want to be obedient to God by honoring our authority. We know that God has put our fathers over us for a reason, and everyone's family looks different. Recently, I've been struggling with the question, is it okay for me to want to spread my wings and learn how to be an adult and do things on my own without my family because the society kind of that I've grown up in has been so anti-feminist that sometimes I blur the lines of like what's feminist and what's just growing up, right? The one question I had for my parents was, I need a job, like what, what can I do? I really want to get a job and my parents are really fair about their rules and everything. And so they weren't like blatantly no. They're just, they didn't like the idea of me having a regular trade your time for money job, as well as the idea of me getting a vehicle. That's something that's definitely original to my parents. But I was struggling with this question like, I want a job, I want a car, my parents really are on board with me, but I'm 18, I'm going to college, I need to grow, I need to learn some things for myself because I, I don't want to be a child forever. Um, also, I, you know, I, I want to make money, I want to be working and, and turning a profit. I think work is a Christian principle, and so... I was struggling with these questions. A dear, sweet Christian lady advised me to pray about it because I have a father in heaven who cares about me and will hear my prayers. And he knows what's best for me. She also said, approach your parents in a sweet way. Like win them over sweetly. This probably sounds odd to anyone on the other spectrum, but just like, I want to be so cautious not to be feminist, but having a job and having a car and growing up do not mean you're feminist. And I knew that, but I was like, yeah, you're right. So the only other obstacle for those things would be talking to my parents. And I didn't know how to do that because when you're a younger child, you don't ask why. You know, when your parents tell you to do something, you obey all the way right away with a happy heart. Um, and so questioning my parents is something, and I have, I struggle with communication, but questioning my parents is something that's really hard for me. But she suggested, talk about it with your parents. Ask them why do you have this rule? Why do you see it that way? Can you explain to me where you're coming from? Put it out on the table and talk about it. Win them over sweetly, not rebelliously. You say, hey dad, what do you think about me maybe doing this job? It would be like this many hours, etc. And approaching it in that manner rather than letting everything build up in your heart or throwing a, a tantrum and acting like a child. Show your parents how capable you are and how responsible you are. Show them 
that you are mature enough and you can handle it through your actions. So be sweet. So I've been praying for a job and a car. And I've, I've got several friends that have been praying with me. So I know this was so an answer to prayer. Um, so instead of me finding a job, the job found me. My uncle knew a person and briefly mentioned that I might be interested in a summer internship. And it's not just any summer internship. It's something that I would like to do as a volunteer, but it's a paid summer internship. They emailed me and I filled out a job application. I had an interview and just like that, I got a job for the summer. But the best part was my parents were so excited about it from the beginning. They were the ones that showed me the email and they're like, oh, you should do this, you know? And they were excited about that with me. And that surprised me so much as I was filling out the application. My dad was so excited and he was watching me fill out the answer boxes and um, they were excited with me to get this job. And that was such a godsend because before they had been really doubtful about me getting a job, but they were on board with this. And I know that that was God, like, first of all, providing an excellent job, something that I'm going to love doing. And second of all, that my parents were on board with it. And that, that was a huge answer to prayer. Um, the car I have not gotten yet, but now that I've got the job, my parents are on board with the idea because they realize, oh, you're going to be driving to Knoxville. You need a car. So that's an answer to prayer for the car is my parents are on board. I just haven't gotten the car yet. God's watching out for me. I'm his child, right? So application to other girls that may be struggling with this. First of all, value a good relationship with your parents. My parents are probably in between on the spectrum they're not actually that strict but I know girls who have really really strict parents they love you that's why they have so many rules for you they want the best for you um, approach them sweetly put things on the table pray ask God to work on your parents because he can change their minds if you can't have faith that God will provide the job that you need or the car that you need or make a way for you to do things. Maybe your parents won't go, let you go places and you don't know a lot of people and you just want to be able to get out of the home sometimes and you don't have any friends. That's another thing you could pray about. Pray that God will give you opportunities to meet people and make friends. God can do that. As I was going into that interview, I, I don't want it to sound like I'm prideful, like I was like just super confident, but I was confident as in full of faith, like confide. I was confident. I had faith that I was going to get that job because it was such, because God had already answered the prayer of making my parents okay with me getting a job. So I went into that job interview pretty sure that I had I'd gotten it anyways because God had already turned my parents' hearts. Um, I can't explain it to make it as big as it actually was. But so I'm here praising God and um, hopefully encouraging you to have a relationship with your parents. Put things out on the table. Approach it sweetly. You don't want them to be like, don't ever mention this topic to me again. You know, be like, hey, dad, there's a, a job opening over here. Or maybe you want to work for like a family business or start your own business. Just find out what your parents' rules, guidelines are. And maybe question them. Why, why do you see it that way? Sweetly, not like, but why, you know? Approach them sweetly and bear your heart to them. They are strict because they love you and they want the best for you. Like I said before, I'm not a feminist. I'm not trying to encourage anyone to be rebellious. Please don't get that out of this. But especially for older girls, you need to have a relationship with your parents 
that can morph into adult relationship. You know, you're not a child forever. You're growing up. You need to be able to have conversations with your parents and be able to talk through things. Anyways, this is Bonnie Chandler with Tent Pegs and Milk, training you to be as harmless as doves and as wise as serpents, equipping you to serve milk and build tent pegs.